Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Voxel Tycoon, Charlestown. Now, last time around, got uh, a basic iron smelting operation going uh, over here. Um, right, I need to uh, fix this stuff here. Um, okay, stations, depots. Uh... Right, okay, good. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know about that, you can adjust which things are uh, visible in the, which uh, UI things are visible on the map uh, by editing that, and you, can, you have two sets of them. Uh, you can switch between them with the Alt key, uh, which is a little bit unusual, but, you know, it works. Um, right. Uh, okay, the coal mines are keeping up. Uh, where did I... Okay, so here's the smelting operation. Is it... Nope, that's the lumber operation. Here's the smelting operation. Which does seem to be keeping up uh, for the moment, so, so that's good. Now we've got... Um, uh, we're researching rails too, so that will probably finish this time around. Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to keep the uh, game clock running at, at standard speed here. Now that's um, mostly uh, just a, uh, you know, mostly just because, you know, uh, because I can, right? Um, oh, we've got a new demand, so that gives us something to do. Uh, so we've got a wood plank demand. Um, we're making wood planks, I think. So why don't we go ahead and grab a station. Uh, stuff it here. Why there? Oh, just because. Um, okay, now we need to go over to our lumber thingy here. Um, which one is the... That's the planks, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll go in. No. We'll go in here. We'll buy a truck, which will take... Um, that one takes planks, right? Yes. Okay, we'll buy one of those. And then we need to grab it. And we will do a full load over here. Yeah. And we'll go over here. And we will do, obviously, we're going to unload it here, right? Uh, here. And make it a line. Yep. And two of them. Yeah, let's go with two of them. Release the ninjas. Uh, okay. Yeah, one of these days I should probably explain where I got release the ninjas from. Um, but that would require me actually looking up and remembering exactly where I got it from. Uh, right. Yeah, so we got lots of trucks going here, and uh, things are getting somewhat busy, and, you know, that's kind of good. Um, yeah, that's kind of good. Uh, Charlestown's up to 855 population. Um, and it looks like it's going to get up to uh, quite a high population, ultimately. Yeah, it does kind of look like it, and, you know, and that's, that's kind of fun. Uh, ultimately, as the game progresses, Charlestown, uh, Oklahoma City, um, Oskaloosa, and, um, well, those three for sure will, uh, merge into one large conglomeration. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer for the, them to get down toward, uh, New Paltz, uh, but ultimately, they will mer these ones will merge into one giant conglomeration. Probably with Carson City as well. Um, yeah, 
so that's um, that's basically uh, basically that. Now I'm probably going to end up filling these uh, lakes in here, uh, and that's simply because they're you know in the way for the nice grid. And well, grids are the most efficient way to set up a big complicated road network uh, in in this game anyway. Uh, I expect that will ultimately change uh, by the time the uh, the game is uh, fully released, right? Uh, the devs will almost certainly uh, add some uh, more um, uh, uh, intelligent road uh, layouts and so on. But, um, okay, I, I think this is going to mess with uh, the grid. So let's just uh, flatten that out. Yeah, that that shouldn't mess with the grid. Okay. Now this here definitely messes with the grid, but it's a uh, production area. You know, that's bugging me. I'm just going to flatten that out. Uh, right. So uh, how's our uh, research operation doing here? Uh, we're... I might up the tempo here just to get some stuff to happen. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to take a look in here. Uh, our company value is 7.3 million. We need 9.5 million to upgrade the headquarters. Right. Um, well, adding uh, deliveries here. Um, we might just maybe need to... Uh, Add a couple more trucks on that line. Maybe. Uh, just possibly. Uh, no, no, no. I want the station. Yeah. Um, okay, you. Okay. Yeah, I think I want a couple more of those. Uh, okay, so if I'm going to duplicate this a couple times and release those ninjas. Right, okay. Yeah, because that's a fair distance that the trucks need to haul it. Now, ultimately, once we get up to having semi-trucks, uh, trucks will be quite efficient for uh, moving stuff a fair distance. Uh, the current slow uh, trucks are, well, slow. Uh, but, you know, they do work, and it does allow us to build uh, a pretty efficient network. And you notice that I haven't built a single rail line yet. Now, uh, that's a thing that uh, I, I should probably start looking into. Uh, ultimately, I need to bring iron and coal down here. Uh, and that means I need uh, need a drop-off point, okay, for a couple of iron and well, iron and a coal train. Now iron would have to come from up here. Uh, that's a fairly long way, so that'd be worth a train line. And coal would have to come from here, but I think coal could continue coming by truck initially. And you know, that might be the thing to do is uh, work on a uh, rail network. Uh, yeah, that, but um, yeah, that might, that might be the thing to do. Uh, okay, so what I would do is I'd set up a train station in here and then I'd run the rail line, uh, you know, around up to the pickup point, which would be up here. Um, probably here. Hmm. Now, one of the problems we have is we don't have, um, uh, level crossings yet. And that makes, uh, running rail uh, a little bit inconvenient. Uh, and until we have level crossings, my, uh, my thing is that I tend to run my rail network, uh, three voxels up above the base of the ground uh, and that means uh, then the roads can just go through in tunnels or the rail can go over in bridges 
and uh, yeah so that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking here now uh, to do that um, that gets expensive because then you have to raise everything three voxels where you're building your rail uh, now uh, I could do that though um, you know, because I'd be putting the station here. Uh, so if I were to raise a bunch of this, I'd have the uh, rail go up along here. Uh, that's going to have to lower a bit. Um, well, let's um, let's do this all the way back to here. Now, I want to just check something. Uh, station. So we're going to need at least two here. Um, I think we're going to need four. Why four? Because then I can have one train parked, uh, dropping off, uh, coal, one train parked, dropping off iron ore and one train and then two, uh, spare tracks for, uh, additional trains to roll in. Um, now, uh, now if we, and it's, uh, a right pain to, uh, build a uh, new uh, station to uh, lengthen things but a 250 meter station is pretty big um, but that does give us the maximum uh, train capability so that means that to do this do a maximum length train station here I would need to uh, flatten more stuff out uh, which uh, if I do this, I can, I can do. Now I do have the cash to do this, so I'm just going to play around with this so you can see how I usually uh, sort this stuff out. Now, uh, that should give me enough room uh, to, uh, to do a train station. Now, I think, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Now I'm only going to put a uh, two track station in here initially. Now you have to demolish the station to, uh, whoops, uh, to, uh, to add, uh, to, to modify it. But, uh, okay, two tracks. I think that will be far enough that I can get a turnaround loop there um yeah okay i'm just going to put the station there now uh here's how i would set up the tracks here uh the first thing i would do is uh get uh get out a distance here and then build a um a thing there uh, now this um, would be the uh, this will be the entrance end um, okay uh, this would be the entrance uh, right okay so I've got stuff in the way there for the turnaround uh yeah okay so i'm gonna need to flatten this as well okay now uh, we'll go back here rail um okay well no okay that is that going to um yeah, that'll fit. Okay. Then I can come down here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's a turnaround loop. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put the signals here. So this will be one way in. Uh, so we need a pre-signal coming in here and a regular block signal 
coming into the platforms, right? Uh, and that that uh, controls the station entry. Now out here, uh, I think I'll end up coming in along this way up here. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to be running straight across here. Um, less corners is probably simpler. Uh, so uh, we'll bring this out to here and force its way through here. Um, right. So this will be the main track coming out. Uh, this will uh, do this. Yeah. Uh, and the main track will be here. Uh, this can uh, that's uh, that's too close I, I want to back that up one okay um, yeah okay that will uh, okay so this is kind of what a station looks like when I build it good so uh, what happens is the trains will come in this way They'll, and then they'll pick a platform here, and they'll come in, and then when they leave, they'll come out this way. Now, uh, I also need to add signals here. I think pre-signals here. I, I don't think you need pre-signals in that case. Um, but if you don't want the trains to block this part when there's nowhere for them to go here, you put a pre-signal here. And I think it just looks bad to block this and stop here, right? Uh, okay, so that's the minimal signaling here. Now, uh, I need to uh, have a station at the uh, iron ore pickup point, which is over here. Um... So what I want to do is I want to find out where the road would be coming up this way. Uh, okay, so now I'm only doing this because it's something to uh, kill the time, right? Normally I wouldn't be building a, a rail line at this point. So that's one, two, three, four. I think that's where the, the road would be. Okay, one, two, three, four. yeah, that's where the road would be, right, one, two, yeah, it is, okay, so we'll uh, take that out, and that out, and that back a bit, okay, now, uh, I'm going to build the road up to here, okay, so that tells me exactly where the road's going to be up there, so what I can do, I've, I've got room to squeak tracks through here. So that's what I'll do. So now, um, how far up do I need to bring that to get that level? One, two, I need to bring it up one. Okay. Uh, up one. Okay. No, I brought that up too. Uh, right, okay, so now we go in here, uh, build a rail station. It's not long enough. Okay. Um, here, right. Go over here. I think that's long enough. Okay. So now we come along and try the station again. And again, oh, not enough money. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. But that's long enough now. So again, there's going to be uh, two platforms. So 
the pickups work uh, work best. What I'm going to need to do though is bring a, uh, a warehouse in range of the uh, the station. Uh, now, if we don't have enough money, we're not going to be able to build anything. And that was all the uh, terraforming, right? Um, and that's uh, okay. Now, um, I could up the tempo here. Uh, what I'm going to do though is look at uh, at this. Uh, we're stagnating there. Uh, we're delivering 84. Uh, yeah, that'll keep the business in business. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking uh, uh, switching the iron operation to a train might actually make sense at this point. Uh, just so that it uh, it can uh, go ahead and uh, have higher throughput without clogging the roads with more trucks, right? Um right uh well we're actually building up cash at a pretty good rate here so you know there's that um right i could up the tempo of course but well i'm not going to uh no uh, stations um Uh, we need 184. We don't have 184. Oh, we have 159. Uh, I think this will be. Oh, I think I think I can get the turnaround in if I do it there. Okay. And that gets the that gets a couple of mines in uh, range at least. So there's that. Now, maybe I'll just come up one more. That gets three mines in range, but I don't think... It, okay, I'll I'll just do that. I'll do the uh, warehouse uh, thing to get stuff in range. Um, 160. I could take a loan. Uh, I'm pretty sure the loan is empty. Uh, we're up to, uh, you know, like, you can see the money's going down and, uh, you know, that's running costs. And then it uh, goes up, you know, when uh, deliveries happen, right? Uh, yeah, so it goes up, but uh, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we've got a profitable operation going here. Uh, now, uh, an important uh, thing here is, uh, you know, once the uh, the iron ore here, um, oh, here we go. We can uh, build a, uh, we'll be able to build the uh, uh, train platform here. I'll just do that. Now, I want to see here, can we get around? Uh, yeah, we, we can. Good. Um, okay. Okay. Obviously, you need enough money to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, so I came out to here, and then I did this. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can come around here. Uh, again, with the, the money thing. I'm not going to be uh, launching any trains on this uh, this time around, uh, obviously, but uh, it does have a uh, you know a train uh, uh, setup uh, getting started. So there's that. Um, right. Okay, so that gets that, and then we have the uh, entrance over here, which will uh, look like this. Right, okay, so then up here, this is going to be the entrance, 
So it needs a pre-signal here and a uh, regular signal here and here. And we'll need a regular signal here and a pre-signal at the exits, just like that. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, run the rails uh, all the way around and connect up to these. Uh, and then uh, and then I'll uh, fling a depot in somewhere, not sure where, and then uh, we'll be able to fling some trains at this. Uh, one train probably will be enough. Uh, I'll be able to fling a train at it, uh, fling a uh, warehouse or something at, at this. Uh, and then uh, and then we'll be able to actually uh, get some stuff going there, right? Uh, and that's, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit expensive yet to, uh, to finish all of this. Now, you might think it's massive overkill building these uh, long stations. But I'm going to put a long train on here. And then it's going to uh, run around. Uh, it'll fill up. Wait, it'll take forever to fill up here. It'll drive around and it'll just park here unloading as this needs it. Right, okay, so I think that's basically basically all we can do uh, other than wait at this point. Uh, how's our um, Rails 2 doing? Um, okay. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on stone deliveries, right? Uh, and that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what I can do is, uh, uh complete, uh, wait, no, I didn't, that didn't connect. Uh, I can complete this. Uh, yeah, do that. Yep. Uh, okay. So that, uh, gets the, uh, the station, uh, set up. And I, I see, seem to recall I turned off, um, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, reversing trains reversing at stations so but yeah if I want to keep this level which I do want to through here I'm gonna need to um, basically uh, do a, a bunch of expensive uh, terraforming uh, and I want to keep this line level uh, yeah I do um, okay once I get across to here, then I'll be be okay on the level, and then, yeah, this uh, this region is uh, actually uh, going to be in the way uh, for doing a nice square uh, setup there. Uh, the uh, Homa, whom Homa, what Homa probably uh, region, uh, and that's fine. Uh, anyway, you know, it's got a desert biome, uh, right, okay. Um, good, so we're, uh, how's this doing? Um, it could stand more delivery, actually. Uh, how's our, uh, sawmill doing and keeping up? It's doing fine keeping up. Uh, okay, so if we go in here. No, if we go in here, uh, grab that, go over here, grab that, no, grab that, yep, duplicate that. We don't have enough money to duplicate that again. Uh, well, if we wait a little bit, we will. 
Um, right. There we go. Release the ninjas. Right. Um, into what? Let's go back over here. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's just a bug. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, that's, uh, that's got another couple of uh, trucks going and delivering planks up here to, uh, to the uh, Charlestown uh, plank uh, um, business. Uh, let's just uh, take a look in here again. Uh, our company value has gone down because our cash has gone down. And that's, uh, that's uh, logical, right? Um, right, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, ultimately, uh, what I'll end up doing is dropping this stuff down to uh, three voxels below this. And then roads can uh, shove under the uh, rail and everything. Right. And that's, uh, of course, uh, less, uh, less easy than it sounds. Now, I just want to check something here. If I grab this and if I go down here, yeah, I do run into the other region if I try to go straight. Um, and yeah. Okay. And I've also got this mountain thing that I have to go through as well. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll uh, bring this down. Uh, I want to get around the existing development for Charlestown. Uh, I don't want to bulldoze much of it, you know, at this point in time. Anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, ticking along here. We're, we're actually not doing too bad. Um, which V, oh yeah, well, um, that's fine. Uh, right. You go away. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's okay. Um, right. Well, I don't think we have any demands on the map that we're not meeting at the moment. Uh, and, and not at least not in the uh, regions that we have unlocked. Oh, look, there's an exclave here, or, or you know, an enclave. That's kind of amusing. Uh, right. Um, Yeah, there's another one here. Uh, I noticed that they're both diagonally attached. Um, wonder if the devs will, you know, but, but if they change the uh, world uh, generation uh, algorithm, then they'll break save games. So I think maybe, maybe they won't touch that. Yeah, probably not. Uh, right, so we have 90, yeah, yeah, so we're, we're bringing a fair bunch of, uh, cash in. Current loan zero, yeah. Um, this here, oh, it's, uh, almost completed one more, uh, run of, uh, of research there. And then, then we're going to be a shade under... Uh, well, that's going to be uh, three-sevenths completed, so 42% thereabout. Yeah. Okay, we're picking up stone there. Right. Uh, I could probably look around and uh, uh, upgrade some uh, trucks here or something like that. That might not be a bad idea. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not going to do that uh, just at the moment here. 
Uh, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to up the tempo here. Uh, we'll just uh, watch watch our uh, iron operation. I'm going to up the tempo for a bit. Then we can uh, observe uh, these phalanxes of or platoons of trucks. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, so that uh, that actually, yeah, so we can build up money pretty quick by doing that. Um, but if we bring up the research, our um, uh, stone uh, delivery is actually the bit that's uh, slowing it down. I only have one truck. Uh, delivering. Uh, well, that'll be slowing it down more than it needs to. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, duplicate this one uh, and release it. That will... Uh, get that going a little bit faster uh, right so if we come over here yeah so that's going to double the throughput of the research um, right there we go another uh, another row going through Next truck will trip another one. So that's uh, a fair uh, stack of uh, traffic running through there. That's one of the reasons uh, getting rail going is uh, really good for... Uh, Salem has achieved uh, uh, town status. Uh, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's... Uh, one of the reasons you want to get rail going for the high volume transport is so it doesn't clog the roads up, right? So that's, um, you know, 20 out of 35 done there. So, uh, you know, we're up to seven, 800 K here. Uh, so we've got a, uh, pretty good operation going. We're only in, in, you know, year seven. So, uh, a little over halfway through year seven. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's not really much to do at this point other than accumulate a boatload of cash and then, uh, then do some more uh, tinkering around. Um, right, so I'm going to, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to uh, put a cut in here and... Uh, uh, you know, then, then we can come back uh, next time around and pick up on the research and uh, uh, continue laying in that rail line. Uh, right. Uh, so um, that's basically uh, basically it uh, for um, uh, for this part. So uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down. And I'll see you back next time.